जथातरमूलिसेचनतिपंतस्कंदुजोपसाखा प्राणोपहारा यथेन्द्रियान तथा सर्व अर्हनन अच्युतेज्या जथातरमूल निषेचन तृप्पति तत्स्कुजोपसाखा प्राणोपहारा यथेन्द्रियान तथा सर्व अर्हनमच्यु तेजा गौरीय गोष्ठी पति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवत कृपा इज साक्षात इन ऑर्डर टू गेट डायरेक्टली देर इज नो पैथवे ओपन फॉर दैट गौरीय गोष्ठी पति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवत कृपा इन ऑर्डर टू गेट इट डायरेक्टली देर इज नो पैथवे ओपन टू गेट इट डायरेक्टली एट ऑल तत् प्रकाश तत् शक्ति एक्सेट्रा ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ मीडियम दैट भगवत कृपा इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इट इज ऑल द टाइम प्रेजेंट वी कैन गेट कै गेट दैट एंड भगवान तत् ओनली बाय द एक्चुअल मीडियम ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दे आर एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग देयर कृपा ऑन देयर बॉन्डेड जीवस so that's why all those pure guru vaishnav those who are eternal parshad of bhagwan they are actually all the time uh, uh, going on in this material world in order to just deliver bonded jeevas and all the time desiring to get them out of this uh, material bondage they don't have any kind of other kind of work at all apart from this in bonded jeevas the jeevas are thinking that may be pure guru vaishnav definitely some greediness will be there of those pure guru vaishnav because without greediness pure guru will be doing something because this is not at all a good point to understand they don't have any interest whether you can uh, just test them also those pure guru vaishnav their only work is that all those bonded jeevas how we can just uh, uh, increase their fallen condition we can just rise them from their fallen condition so by their pravachan we are actually thinking that somebody we are actually getting they are actually getting angry on someone and they are actually speaking uh, some foul language to them maybe some jealousy or matsare must be there but it's not like that this is not at all good conception at all regarding pure guru vaishnav their only work is the actual uh, praman is there in bhagavatam proof is there in bhagavatam adharma sila sasudukchitasya anugrahaye ho charanti nunam bhutani bhavyan janardanasya nunam nischit nunam means definitely 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 it is the pure guru vaishnav are just going just in order to deliver all those bonded jeevas whatever kind of shabd brahm coming from the lotus mouth of those pure vaishnav each and every shabd brahm is for our actual mangal it is more than enough to get our actual mangal in our life on that day i was actually discussing in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran it is already written there that shrimad bhagavad gita that uh, the actual kripa actual kripa it is already there written in that why you can get that because the actual difference between both of them is that that gita shrimad bhagavad gita that is bhagwan swayam from the lotus mouth of gita there definitely the top most transcendental value is there for that because krishna is speaking directly but still there is one point there that krishna in order to speak his own um, siddhant krishna can't speak in full because he is actually feeling shy now that a whole his own beauty his own kripa whatever kind of qualities he is having uh, himself he can't speak because he will feel shy by speaking that so that's why in gita you can see this that arjun you just have this kind of pratigya that my devotees will never fall are bhagwan you swam speak no 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 
definitely my what i will speak that it will not get uh, the stamp that this kind of uh, pratigya i will be taking on the war battlefield that i will not be taking any kind of weapons and uh, still he just take the actual uh, we can uh, he we already see that his path sarthi is the sarthi of uh, arjun then bhishma vitama speaking to him that definitely i will be taking this kind of uh, resolution that you will be taking the weapon in your hand but once speaking no i will not take that so let's see who will win and who will lose so that's why vitama bhishma that still on the chariot that when five panda of yudhishthir maharaj under the guidance of yudhishthir maharaj krishna bhagwan lot of rishi munis are just actually staying there and very nicely is ek pravachan diye one uh, pravachan bhishma pitama actually giving very nice uh, unique pravachan for each and every fraction of second it is very much important to understand that pravachan for you this did maharaj this upadesh that is the last upadesh uh pishma vitama that he has just gone to the transcendental world after that leaving his body it is already in uh, written in shrimad bhagavatam regarding this very nice beautiful it is actually explained there in shrimad bhagavatam there pitama bhishma actually speaking to krishna and they don't have this kind of uh, he is actually on the arrows beds of arrows and just with his mentally he is actually paying down to the lotus feet of krishna on the bed of arrows and he started speaking that you see he that param brahma paratpar akhileshwan that who is actually standing in front of me that his mercifulness is so much topmost and his magic is so unique that i am so fallen condition soul i am condition soul i am he actually want to deliver me that at my last time he has just came in front of me Oh, so that that is the correct point. Krishna is so much karuna ma, is so much merciful that externally all bonded jivas cannot see him at all. That's why all kind of material activities, prem, mohabbat, everything they are actually getting entangled in that. Slightly they can understand that whatever Krishna and all eternal passes of Krishna, that is Vishnu, Guru Vishnu, so much they love us. Then how they can get uh, attracted towards this? Uh, Uh, love of maya not at all possible bijama bhishma actually speaking that you see his karuna that he is parat pari collection swayam bhagwan par brahma and uh, and i am so foolish i am actually going to leave my body he has just came in front of me just to do creep on me so this krishna who actually i have taken this pratigya that definitely i will be you will be taking weapons in your hand in on this battlefield definitely you have to take that he already promised that that i won't take krishna the weapons on the field mat pratigyam adhikartum mat pratigyam adhikartum matlab mera pratigya that my promise in order to prove my promise and my nishta in order to prove that like the case of pralad maharaj nirsinga dev actually told that my devotee cannot speak lie at all but today modern civilization is like that that maharaj that whole material world you will be getting the full grip of your guru vishnu and the second line they are written they don't know just like child they are actually doing like that that person you are actually he has got the full grip of guru var how is actually speaking lie that for to speak lie for you is very easy but for those pure guru vishnu how they can speak lie from their lotus mouth what actually is given it is actually correct but your for your pratishtha and your name fame and position you are actually putting so much fighting mood in front of everyone pralad mahar pra, about pralad maharaj narsing bhagwan swayam is actually speaking in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran that uh, my devotee that my bhit my my sevak that my own eternal passion they cannot speak lie at all isko sabit karne in order to prove that ye yudhishthir maharaj in front of yudhishthir maharaj pitama bhishma speaking and nrsinga dev also speaking satyam vidhatum nijavitva 
This is all the same. That my my sevak won't speak any lie. They are all the time established in absolute truth. Krishna is actually Satyavrat. Satya Kam, Satyavrat, Satya Swarup. He Krishna is. These are all actually absolute truth. Bhagavan is that absolute truth, supreme absolute truth. And this is Swar- Satya Swarup Bhagavan. We have just came uh, on to after the crossing this material platform and we have just came in front of by taking the absolute truth we have actually not taking the support of truth absolute truth what is the kind of this bhajan what kind of bhajan is this we have already came to do bhajan our actual target is what that just to take the lotus feet of satya Surup bhagwan absolute truth bhagwan but it is all actually false all actually useless and false this is the actual original situation now what is going on no one has this kind of uh, fault in it even this is the actual uh, effect of kali kal this is the actual effect of kali what to do that day i was actually speaking that day i was actually discussing that Four to five days back, I was discussing this point. So this situation actually is uh, changed totally. So Prahlad Maharaj, Nirsingh Gadev, actually speaking like this. And this is actually a right and fixed point. Krishna and Krishna devotees, they cannot speak lie at all. Because they are established in that absolute truth. And here, Bhagwan Shri Krishna... He is speaking to the, uh, in front of their devotees in order to prove the actual uh, vachan of the devotees. Actu- uh, Krishna Swayam himself making himself untrue. He is actually topmost thief in the Braj, uh, Krishna. Therefore, Krishna, everything is uh, respect for everything. He is all proper adjustment for Krishna. Oh, Krishna is actually thief, okay. If I am actually speaking, Krishna is actually a thief. Definitely it is true. Definitely he is true. That he is taking my heart or stealing my heart all the time. He want to steal my heart. He is actually stealing my heart. That is right. Definitely it is true written there. There is no false uh, liability at all in this point. Shishupal also speaking lot of foul words. He is bejanma without any birth. Lot of uh, foul words he is speaking to Krishna. What of what all things he is speaking to Krishna? All foul words and finding fault in Krishna. But fir- still, Vishwana Jagadipa is speaking that you see, he is actually speaking all foul words. Definitely, he is speaking to Krishna. But when he has started speaking, father, mother, from that time only he is speaking false, fault, uh, foul language to Krishna. When he is actually started speaking uh, the actual uh, foul words, up till that point he is actually speaking. From starting his intelligence is uh, not at all there. But Saraswati is definitely there onto his tongue and is speaking right. Yes, he is speaking rightly. Definitely he is in general. He don't have any kind of place origin of his birth at all. He is ajanma. He is without any birth. Who is actually transcendental in nature. Definitely he is without birth. So he is speaking right. Shishupala is not at all speaking wrong. He is speaking right only. So like this, Pitama Bhishma actually speaking that you see that your own knowledge in order in order to uh, uh, prove it false and in order to in order to prove me right and in order to to prove my pratigya true, he has just uh, came out of the chariot and with, in his hand he is taking one kind of uh, wheel of. Uh, Wheel of chuck, wheel of ch- uh, chariot. He is taking in his hand in order to kill me, and he is just uh, coming towards me. So like this, you see, so much uh, merciful Bhagwan is Karuna May. He is so all this point. If we are actually actually un- thinking and understanding, then uh, this kind of logical argument you cannot put that Gita don't have Madhurya. That blindness definitely won't allow me to see this at all. That my darshan. 
is actually all uh, incomplete it is not at all fixed and true be- and complete because darshan is only possible by pure guru vishnu kripa that pure pure guru vishnu bhagwan they can only can give me the actual kripa to get the darshan that's why before uh, guru pad padma already speaking this point that guru charan lotus feet of guru that is the actual absolute platform pure platform that so this is the actual glorification of guru charan lotus feet of guru dev this is the actual excellency of guru dev the topmost magic that whatever we are taking darshan that our by our own false ego we will be taking darshan then definitely our darshan will be incomplete we won't get that is blindness but if we are getting in front our guru vishnu in front of us then what as it is darshan we will be getting definitely we will get the actual darshan that's why it is written that it is the actual transcendental media by which we can know that absolute truth we can see what is what and in that all kind of all kind of things we can see as it is what is what by the transcendental media of guru so that is the actual glorification geeta don't have madhurya they are those who are speaking they are actually blind they don't know inside geeta that kind of prem vikar uh, everything is there this is not uh, talking of prema that this is not actually prema that what uh, bhagwan is exhibiting you are such a blind man you cannot see that this is not prema at all ha huh? this is prema that when you will be seeing when you will, you have lot of money power and you are be taking books all different different kind of books you are actually reading and you just tell me the actual purport out of that conclusion you just show me that you can't show that at all just false ego when it it will be there inside your heart then up till that point our bhajan our life everything is useless nothing is there nothing will left at all in our last time last time is actually coming but still our mind from where it is there only it is just stationary it is not we are not at all getting uh, advancement in our spiritual life knowingly and unknowingly we are doing a satsang that's it all the time we are doing even in dreams also we are actually doing a satsang all the time we, we are busy in that but in the shastras it is already written in uh, any how we have to leave a satsang only then we can uh, develop we can know the actual glories of satsang and we can get the actual result of satsang otherwise we'll not get, we'll not get that at all so this is actually prem only arjun that you just show this kind of thing and prove that my, my devotee won't speak any lie no no because when i'll be speaking it becomes untrue but when you will be speaking then there will be one stamp he is speaking to arjun krishna bhagavat श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण दिस इज द एक्चुअल प्रवचन ऑफ ऑल द डिवोटिस एंड श्रीमद भागवत गीता इज द एक्चुअल प्रवचन ऑफ कृष्णा वॉट इज द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम इज दैट दैट कृष्ण एक्चुअली हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग ही इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग ऑफ हिज ओन देन ऑल द पीपल विल बी थिंकिंग हिम रॉन्ग ऑल दीज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट श्लोक are actually all businessmen maharaj actually actually everyone wants to worship uh, them that's why they are speaking like this <laughs> whatever you want to do everything you have need to surrender on to me this is not at all good actually because his business is very bad and on like this normal people can just think like that and they will uh, lose their consciousness so this is the actual this is not at all good to think like that but when devotee is actually speaking and glorifying bhagwan so that they, this is actually true because what they are speaking definitely they we are doing that and when krishna actually doing what he want to desire he is doing the opposite he is speaking that uh, oh you uh, stay away from kaam krodh and still he is doing ras leela on his own if the material world or material jeevas actually will be thinking 
हंड्रेड परसेंट रॉन्ग अबाउट कृष्णा दैट होल पैथवे इज ओपन फॉर यू टू जस्ट थिंक कृष्णा एज ऑन द रॉन्ग पैथवे वाई बिकॉज कृष्णा दैट कृष्णा द एक्चुअल बिहेवियर ऑफ कृष्णा ऑल दोज एक्टिविटीज ऑफ कृष्णा इट इज डेफिनेटली देर इज नो कॉन्ट्रोडिक्टी पॉइंट एट ऑल बट नॉर्मल पीपल कैन नॉट थिंक लाइक दैट दे आर थिंकिंग दैट वॉट ही इज स्पीकिंग ही इज नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग डेफिनेटली कृष्णा वॉट ही इज स्पीकिंग ही इज डूइंग लाइक दैट बट यू हैवन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज योर फॉल्ट दैट यू आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट दिस इज योर फॉल्ट ओनली दैट यू आर नॉट एट ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वॉट कृष्णा स्पीकिंग बट कृष्णा इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस इन भगवत गीता एंड श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण इन बोथ ऑफ दिस एक्चुअली इट इज रिटर्न दैट कृष्णा इफ यूल बी स्पीकिंग ऑन इज ओन दैन दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड and the other people will also think it wrong so what to do in that case so by bhakti yog what that pravachan is this in this and shri gorang mahaprabhu in the form of devotee actually just uh, taking the acharan on devotees and coming in front of us he has taken sanyas lot of acharan he has done krishna also has done acharan but we haven't understand what kind of acharan he has done so in between these two this is the actual difference and this actually the uh, actually is uh, related to prema they definitely you speak arjun then the people will uh, think it right so whatever be the case now geeta ka jo geeta's actually uh, getting uh, avirbhav like uh, like it is eternally present geeta is actually has this existence in eternal world but still in order to get the full kripa geeta has just descended from the lotus mouth of uh, bhagwan himself and uh, the actual birth of bhagavad gita it's the actual char of the birth of the uh, gita in order to get that it will just go make us mad how it is possible like that 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 uh, bat- battle is going to start on the battlefield everything shank kongshal already have been blowed so in this situation how he can understand what to do he is so confused arjun so this kind of so big pravachan krishna has done on the battlefield so because krishna has done it on that there is time space and matter don't have they are all interrelated in this material world but actually it is just one kind of dakshina on to the donation on to the lotus feet of krishna that time space and matter is there when how and when that uh, this kind of seva if we are actually helping in krishna seva definitely no chintan of kali can come inside our heart at all this is not at all good from the, at the side of arjun and arjun that he is the actual representative of uh, whole world in front of everyone arjun is actually there and his situation he is actually making this situation like that it looks like that this is the question and this is the answer and krishna always want to speak one thing that arjun is my fro- friend and he is actually in agya so how i can save him from this unknowledge remnants he actually is not at all listening to me he is katriya and he has come to me and he actually speaking that you have to take the chariot in front this actually arjun is speaking and uh, i need to do that and after that listening to that his whole body he is just becoming restless and he is actually from his hand gandeep is actually slipping from his hands arjun's hand and his bow and arrow his gandeep is just slipping down he is not at all able to uh, keep keep that gandeep in his hand and his body is just shaking with fear and restlessness and uh, all body is full of sweat this this his situation is just uh, like that it looks as if arjun is actually uh, number 1 is not at all brave he is actually coward it is not at all good for all those brave uh, soldiers it is it looks like the arjun is coward in this situation in this gita this this gita ji the actual updesh instructions of gita this actually got avirbhav on this material planet this kind of situation has just uh, been done it looks like that it is 
it looks like a historical message it's uh, not like that it looks as if externally but in this whole material world this is definitely sure that that the gita is the evergreen evergreen human by human science it is the most scientific uh, explanation of our human science and gita if someone actually is uh, uh, reading it correctly without his own uh, individual uh, thought process that whole uh, the four directions in this material world everywhere there are problems everywhere there is problem in the way of bhajan also there are crores and crores of barriers millions of barriers are there in the in the way of bhajan as well in the material people he is they are according to their previous san- sanskar they are actually just uh, ruining their life they we want this we want that they are just busy in collection that's it and uh, i want ias degree i want to be married with a nice girl i need a very nice job or what all different things they want but when they are actually getting a kick from maya devi then some then they are speaking that uh, there is no word called krishna at all i haven't seen krishna at all that how uh, this condition can be done that krishna has just taken a responsibility that you have ju- a big devotee and uh, krishna also speaking in this context that who is actually remembering me all the day then for him everything uh, his responsibility is mine this actually has already been proved that when on to the lotus feet of krishna that my own uh, weight that is that purushakar that uh, on my own bravery and uh, my own uh, effort i am actually having this kind of confidence that is called purushakar that on my purushakar i have so much confidence then each and every fraction of second i need to have get get a kick from maya devi sukh moh that spriha paribhava paribhava means in the big shastra he is becoming on the he is in the bhumika of acharya and he is reading all big big kind of uh, shastras but still his sensual uh, senses organs are not at all controlled or any time Uh, some wrong things can be done it's already being done it's not at all that it will be done somebody has seen it also but he is actually weak from inside that otherwise how your weakness can come in front of everyone if you are uh, working uh, as an acharya so that different kind of uh, historical things of this material world is that that weakness of this there is no doubt at all if a very big pandit pandit means that who has already just uh, I read all the shastras it is not at all pandit who has just uh, read all the shastra and speaking shastra arjun uddhav ji maharaj krishna speaking that he don't know about himself he no have realization he don't know about where i will go towards bondage and where i can get free and he is speaking that give me more give me more give me more money give me more pratishtha name fame position so he is asking this just like crow just like crow from outside he is picking up different different stones and all kind of garbage he is taking and just putting in the house on at one place so it is actually compared with the crow a uh, very like uh, crack bottle or whatever alpin everything uh, that uh, crow is actually taking in the same way we are also actually collecting that garbage everything we are collecting like that that garbage we are collecting just foolishness all kind of foolishness and garbage we are actually collecting inside us from where this geeta upadesh can get inside our heart it's not at all possible so those who their own sense organs are not at all in control for them definitely he'll get disrespect in this material life definitely he'll get disrespect in front of himself only that he is actually getting disrespect it's that is the topmost uh, uh, disrespect that if in front of yourself only you are uh, feel, uh, feeling uh, apradit and you are feeling disrespectfulness then definitely nothing will uh, stay at all like the case i have already shown you that the gwaje pandit <coughs> the gwaje pandit actually when mahaprabhu i have already shown him that yes i have just uh, spoken wrong that uh, he has just got defeated by mahaprabhu and after that he can't even speak one word in front of mahaprabhu 
how it is possible that Degvijay Pandey, who is the actual Pandit of Health Force Material World, he don't have this kind of courage to speak one word in front of Mahaprabhu. You see the case that it is just the disrespectfulness and the uh, uh, he actually lost in front of himself only. Nobody has seen himself in their heart that Kama is there inside their heart. Only Krishna is seeing that. That you have yourself have seen and Krishna is also seeing that. You already, what you have done in your life, you are actually a proof of that. What you have done in your life, you already know that. So externally, uh, external proof, what is required at all? So inside your heart, what is there, you know already. So what kind of external uh, proof you need? Just by speaking loudly? That is called Parajai, that they have already lost on their own. Themselves they have lost. That they don't have any kind of, all kind of lobbies there inside them. They need today this and tomorrow that and like that they just need. So this is in the Gita Upadesh, what is the actual uh, conclusion? Why you are actually uh, crying? Are Maharaj, you see what has happened to me. From this world only you are taking that all name, fame, position, pratishta, whatever you are taking. That money, position, everything you are taking you are from this material world. Even your body also you have just taken it on rent from Maya Devi. This body also you have taken this from material world still you have uh, you can't actually uh, bear any kind of cost on it so much foolish you are actually you can't even understand that so this is the actual condition what to do this kind of actual conclusion of the Gita that you are actually crying for what purpose for what purpose you are crying what actually you have taken from this material world you have to give it back that's it so you have just came on this material world uh, empty handed and you have to go empty handed everything you have to just leave it here Maybe today it's this building, property, name and all position you are getting and you are thinking that you are the master. Okay, if uh, by God's, if God doesn't uh, want that you be, you are dead, then all kind of property and uh, your position, everything will go where? All kind of silver, gold, coin and jewelries and your goggles, everything what you have, everything you just take with you, you can't take that at all. So... So it is just going to transform, that's it. That it will just get transferred. Your position, name will just get transferred from one form to another, that's it. Like Newton's theory is there, no? You know the theory of Newton? That energy, you cannot, uh, you cannot create energy. Energy can be transformed from one energy to another energy source. So it looks like that this is just one kind of story energy in this material world what we are seeing that in infinity world that what kind of energy we are seeing that is infinite infinite in nature that energy is infinite but but infinity but energy you cannot create that this is actually all the creation of Bhagwan. it cannot be created energy can never be created at all it can be transferred or transferred from one form to energy it can convert that's it Mechanical energy can be converted into This can be done Otherwise To just do creation is not at all possible This Whatever is there All actually from One form to another form it is getting transformed That only we don't have this kind of thing also in uh, inside our heart that it's already there in the jivas only that they are thinking that this is mine this kind of false ego is there all the time in the jivas so this is actually the main cause of our bondage that we are thinking that this kind this is ours so this which are is going on so this is actually called disease the topmost disease is this only that we are thinking this is mine okay it's your that this is your mat okay guru they have take, given me this mat you will not be at all able to just uh, uh, you, uh, uh, run this mud okay if you have your uh, will you just uh, run your mud according to your will it's just your father's mud no the guru has just given you okay you take it what to do it's your father mud what to speak all kind of foolishness of the whole material world is just getting created in this foolish acharyas so this I have already just uh, taken up yesterday that all kind of uh, Gita Upanishad and Vedanta or other Upanishads Whatever is there, Ved, Vedanta, everything, everything, Ishwar, Jeev, Prakirti, 
टाइम एंड कर्म ऑन दिस फाइव विषय इट इज एक्चुअली डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट ऑन दिस फाइव विषय इट इज एक्चुअली इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट एंड दे आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग इट एंड मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो वट एवर काइंड ऑफ वेदर शंकराचार्य इज देयर वेदर रामानुचार्य इज देयर वेदर मध्वाचार्य इज देयर और वेदर विष्णु स्वामी और वेदर निम्बार्क वॉट एवर हु सो एवर इज देयर वेदर भास्कराचार्य इज देयर हु सो एवर इज देयर एवरी वन हैव देयर ओन रिस्पेक्टिव रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ फिलोसफी दे आर एक्चुअली गिविंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एंगल्स ऑफ व्यूज दे आर एक्चुअली प्रेजेंटिंग दैट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एंगल ऑफ व्यूज दे आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फिलोसफीज अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर ओन थिंकिंग एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द ओन रियलाइजेशन दे हैव जस्ट डिस्क्राइब देयर दर्शन बट all kind of vichar and the actual purport and conclusive uh, conclusion of all this uh, vichar ishwar ji prakriti time and karma on this five factors only they are actually speaking just be careful what i am speaking ishwar jeev prakriti kal kal means time and karma all these five vishay are very much important it means if you just uh, increase it there are a lot of vishay but these five vishay are the major uh, vishay on this just by taking those in context from different different angles they are actually discussed on their basis according to their own adhar which adhar and which which are you will be just accepting it according to your own thinking that you will be just putting it in your mind so in gita upanishad also it is like that these all five are the major vishay and out of that five vishays are in this vishays which object is the top most knowledgeable and top most uh, shakti mai and top most uh, opulent it is this is sarva gyan that is actually ishwar purna gyan mai purna that purna gyan mai purna shakti mai everything is purna is complete there is actually no deficiency in that that from externally in some place that krishna is getting some uh, he is getting some uh, gyan or some knowledge from outside for about for krishna because he don't need any kind of uh, knowledge from outside because he himself is uh, complete krishna that is actually ishwar that is actually called ishwar and alpagya those who knew, know and they have this kind of news that alpagya their alpagya is actually jeev those who have shortage of knowledge and that sarva gyan mai is uh, uh, ishwar bhagwan that vyakti vyapak that kind of a relationship or sambandh is there so that alpagya which is there that is jiva and uh, satora jo uttam gun this kind of treasure of these three guns the actual adhar that is actually prakriti it is just one matter this is this is just matter that's it that for bonded jo souls inside their heart mind intelligence mahatat everything is matter by the application of matter they like to get uh, vishay they just like to know ishwar by the application of matter by the material mind by material intelligence and by material sense organs everything they are actually applying they can know about the actual uh, krishna tatva and this is actually just madness that's it it cannot be possible without their own effort by their own effort this i have already told a lot of time and propad also speaking the same thing that your logical interpretation what it is there in on the transcendental platform if you want to go on the transcendental platform it is not at all uh, uh, it is it it will be a failure on your part you can't go on to that platform and by your own effort if you will be putting that by your vachan shakti that if you are doing pravachan of krishna and you want to uh, know who is krishna he just want to kick you and you can come back that's you will just get one feedback from maya devi that's it there is one feedback if you want by your own effort you want to know krishna that is not at all possible so whatever is there that uh, over krishna if you want to uh, go ahead towards krishna tatva that why whatever vachan shakti by your uh, money power man power whatever you have whatever you have if you will just uh, sacrifice that after sacrificing all those power that kind of uh, uh, effort you don't have at all inside you 
that krishna that automatically can uh, by sacrificing all those things also if you want to know that krishna that it krishna that it is not at all possible to know by that that whatever kind of shakti or power you have every feedback you will get in uh, reverse to that that's it and this yours this your this your thing that trigun that satura jo tamagat that adoksha jo vastu just by doing seva yes tomorrow i will just discuss because together you cannot catch the thing actual theme what i want to speak so jeev is actually alpagya and ishwar is sarvagya and satura jo tamagun this true gun the actual adhar the actual treasure of this three gun that is actually matter it is just prakriti it's matter and trigun varjit that jada jada which einstein has told time is nothing but movement einstein already told what is that movement actually that in front of us if some kind of relative thing is there then how what you can make out that what is movement at all no it is not at all possible that what is movement by that movement how you can know if that in all the four directions some rel- no rel- relative object is there and you are just standing in between nothing is there at all just by hearing just by speaking nothing is there so how you can understand that you tell me how you can understand it is very much difficult to understand no it, if relative thing is there definitely kal that time definitely will be there time is eternal but we cannot understand why because whatever kind of calculation we are doing all actually related to on the re- on the relative platform we are making that our life whatever kind of calculation we are actually making it is actually making we are doing based on the relative calculations if a relative calculation is not there let the platform is not there how you can make calculations that's it so jeev is actually alpagya and is actually under the influence of satura jyotamagun and this is actually matter and jeev is under the influence of that matter and that time which is actually called movement it is eternal in nature and the jeev nishtha that according to that the uh, jeev chesta sorry according to that is actually the karya what he wants to do in that particular period of time and another name is that adrisht that what you speaking that adrisht is there adrisht means luck that destiny this is that your previous and previous uh, karma that uh, you the result you are getting the actual fruit of or the result you are getting of your previous karma what you have done that by your own chesta chesta of the jeevas that kind of thing that kind of karya that kind of work is called atisht and this atisht jeeva is actually transfer from one to one unit to another unit this is just one come this is one kind of driving force to put jeeva from one unit to another unit there is no fixed point it's all the time it's going in a cycle from infinity time he will go on that's it just do kirtan you just kirtan and then you can realize just by you know just without any folding your hands you are no kirtan you are doing at all that's it you are just ruining your life so this uh, thing what is there that is called adrisht by the by which the actual fruit by those jeevas having having their do adrisht by that they will be doing their respective work so jeevatma then he is speaking that oh krishna i am yours when they are actually realizing that then only inside his heart everything will get destroyed of this matter everything will go away nothing will be there except seva towards krishna this is the actual thing this is definitely right when atmanivedan is actually correct then pure guru vaishnav not cheater guru vaishnav pure guru vaishnav then everything whatever uh, problems we are having and whatever kind of tensions we are having everything uh, will go away nothing will stay at all so this uh, ka- this karya this work that is that is called adrisht and deva that we are actually speaking dev vasanda this there is it the definition can also be dev prakriti sandha by that that it is actually getting signified by that so that is called karma 
that that according to the, that karma every action has is equal and opposite reaction different different kind of fruits you'll be getting out of that that you don't think that i am in the way of acharya or uh, sant that i will not be just uh, taking my karma for no not like that you have to that just by hair hair by hair vichar in order to break our false ego krishna actually whosoever kind of false ego is there inside there at krishna will just uh, break it down into pieces before kill before getting died he, he will just uh, uh, break the false ego and will be cutting into small pieces that's it that is called karma and he, the fruits the jivas are actually can getting according to their own previous karma fall and they just need to make sure that they are getting the fruit of that karma fall what they have performed previously or now so ishwar jeev prakriti kal time they are all actually transcendental nitya everlasting jeev jeevatma is also prakriti it is getting uh, manifested or unmanifested sometimes but prakriti definitely is there from uh, anadi time infinity time ishwar jeev prakriti or kal these are all inf- infinity It means from infinity time they are available they are transcendental when krishna that nishwas prashas means it's already written in brahm samhita about regarding this that that one exhalation by nishwas by one exhalation that infinity brahmand can get manifested This actually is there. Tamam bajami. Tamam bajami. That one, by just uh, taking one inha- inhalation one time, infinity brahmand can come inside. Uh, and infinity brahmand, and if you just calculate and just remember that, and when Krishna, just by uh, putting the air out, then everything can come out. so in the veda stuti what you are actually speaking you just hear this you will just become very much surprised by hearing this when nothing is actually manifested there prakriti you cannot see at all time where it is nothing is there so time is also not there everything is there everything is nitya so so ishwar jeev prakriti time i are all transcendental nitya permanent and jeev prakriti kal karm they are all under uh, uh, ishwar that they are actually all uh, uh, under ishwar you just uh, need to think like that but here actually some one important thing is there that karma definitely it is uh, towards ishwar but that bhakti no thakur has already uh, given this kind of commentary on this that why karma is actually anadi it is very much surprising that there is no time when the karma is formed bhakti no thakur speaking that this kind of material time on the background in the background of that material time in the background of that material time on the basis of that material time when it is starting it you don't know at all that's why that that's why karma is called anadi but still that karma it 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 is going to get uh, silent it is going to it is going to get destroyed by the actual grip of guru vaishnav it means that karma is actually anadi but still karma is actually going on but still the uh, the destruction of karma is definitely is there intricate movement of karma from where how and when it is actually getting destroyed it is of no uh, this kind of vichar is very difficult to understand that's why here that's why here karma is actually controlled by krishna definitely it is in control with in in full control of krishna but still 
डेफिनेटली इट 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 विल कम टू एन एंड दैट ओन टुमारो वी विल डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट डेफिनेटली the jeevas their karma it is not adi but still definitely destruction is there it will come to an end any time it will come to an end karma shant shant means any time it will come to an end ishwar gyan swarup jeev is also gyan swarup mamivam sajeev bolo ke jeevo ko sanatan ishwar jaisa that like ishwar that qualitative position of the ishwar it is definitely the same in the jeevas as well that ishwar gyan swarup and uh, jeevas are also gyan swarup but that uh, he is actually trapped in maya because of that he is nitya siddh gyan it is just get covered by maya devi so this just by getting that is sat siddh gyan just in trapping in maya it is just get hidden so that's why it is written that you see pagin geeta bhagwan speaking that is no himself speaking this point it means that sat siddh gyan definitely is there where actually it is gone by agyan by agyan it is actually getting hidden that's why that's why because of this they are actually some infatuation is coming in this mixing situation they are getting infatuation that ishwar gyan swarup and jeev gyan swarup jeev is also gyan swarup but jeev on the basis of maya they are actually getting trapped in maya and they just gonna leave everything it is it means that they will just lost everything it will not get activated in them so but still in that situation also jeevas and ishwar that all the jeevas they are that sam samvita means so samvita means that all the gyatas those who are the knowers of all and those who are that ishwar is gyan mai he is actually gyata as well he is the knower of everything and for jeevas that asmat aswat word it is very much important to understand in this material world there are two things jismat and asatmat asmat asmat and jisat jismat and asmat word actually is getting described here now in upanishad actually it is written that in shruti is also it is written there vigyanam anandam brahma or kavi anandam and sometimes it is written on anandam brahma so like that vigyanam anandam brahma vigyanam brahma vigyanam ईश्वर ज्ञान एंड अनंत स्वरूप दिस इज डेफिनेटली इज देयर दैट सच्चिदानंद सच्चिदानंद में भगवान इज हैविंग ऑल द थिंग्स इन हिम एंड जीवात्मा परमात्मा एंड हिज ज्ञान एंड द नॉलेज दैट बाय दिस दैट काइंड ऑफ विज्ञान स्वरूप ऑफ आत्मा एंड परमात्मा इट कैन जस्ट बी डिस्क्राइब्ड वेरी क्लियरली बाय दिस भगवान इज सर्व सर्वज्ञ विद दैट आत्मा ऑल्सो हैज दिस टाइटल इट शुड बी देयर फॉर द आत्मा एज वेल दिस सेम टाइटल शुड बी देयर डेफिनेटली नॉट दिस दिस टाइटल इज ऑलरेडी देयर इट शुड नॉट बी इट इज देयर बट ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट दैट इन साइड जीवास देयर एक्चुअल पावर इज वेरी मच लेस इन साइड दैम फॉर इन साइड जीवास इज वेरी 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 लिटल दे डोंट हैव पावर एट ऑल दैट्स वाई दिस मच सो मच काम इज देयर इन साइड दैम एंड विभु चैतन्य कृष्ण परमेश्वर इज एक्चुअली अनुचतन्य दैट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ वेदांत इट कैन बी डिस्क्राइब्ड वेरी इजीली दैट जीवास दे आर एक्चुअली अनु एक्चुअली वेदांत इट इज रिटर्न लाइक दिस दे आर अनु तत्व जीवास अकॉर्डिंग टू द गुनज इफ यू मेक विचार इट इज जस्ट लाइक लाइक पार्टिकल इट इज नॉट लाइट पार्टिकल इट इज जस्ट लाइक लाइट पार्टिकल self manifested object this is chinmayatma gunat alag baat if you just making the arrangements of uh, all the gunas it looks like that as if it is just like like particle but it's not like that 
and if on the basis of vichar on the basis of vedant vichar it can be proved here that that bhagwan is actually shabd brahma so this is the actual thing it means the shabd brahma are ek bhagwan hai shabd brahma jeev also that kind of uh, proof i will uh, i'm i'm going to prove this as well that this definitely it is right keshav ko swami maharaj speaking the same thing only that jeev is anushabda so that's why his work is so that's why his only work is that all the time it is uh, going on it are going on means that their work is just uh, just doing uh, uh, something what they have to do they just need to do sankirtan all the time that's that's it then only they can get out of bondage that jivatma what they are they are actually the false ego that is the actual reason for their bondage that bhogta enjoyer that i am the doer this kind of doership and enjoyment this is the reason for why the jivas are actually putting them in bondage material bondage otherwise there is no uh, there is no reason of bondage for them at all there is no reason for bondage how they can just get in bondage that's why in gita it is written that you just need to help yourself in gita there in english there is nice riddle that such a nice pandit he is nine intelligent he they are speaking that get help god helps them those who help themselves so it means what does it mean in gita already it is told from where they have got it you this he is also pandit no how he can speak like that definitely it is right only what it is actually it is written in gita only all kind of uh, proofs are already there it's already uh, in front of us now regarding gita so like this whole material world whole material world which are we don't have any time to do that and our heart is not so much sophisticated that we can just catch it it is very much difficult to catch so that's why i am whatever kind as fast as possible in a very few words i am just gonna by the kripa of krishna i actually am actually speaking in front of you so that you can understand a bit of things you can some realize some things out of this in padma puran also this uh, this thing is written there in padma puran this the this updesh is already written that gita you just need to uh, work it out very very carefully you just need to read it very carefully upanishads also are reading that it is the actual uh, top most major granth other shastras what kind of prayojan you have to read other kind of shastra which you will be reading what is the actual cost and value of that you tell me this is swayam bhagavad gita He is actually Padmanabha Bhagwan. It is coming out of the lotus mouth of uh, Bhagwan Vishnu. That is just like a uh, flowing nectar, melting nectar, coming in in the hands of you. But still, we are unable to catch that. But the actual thing is that the, the Gita Pravachan, what Vyas Dev Maharaj has written, the whatever kind of uh, Mahabharat and commentary it's written, he is actually definitely it is just one kind of practical realization that Vyas Dev Maharaj. he is actually getting that realization by the kripa of bhagwan because he has that sarvagyata inside him are from where how i can speak like this that how he can come like that he has the top most patience that's why so all kind of logical impression of this material how they can write like that definitely you just need to give answer to that are he has that sarvagyata he is ishwar no that he has kind of sarvagya bhagwan all which is already written in mahabharat it is actually practical this all actually have been written there and ye mahabharat ka jo this mahabharat pravachan bhakta hai this pravachan vaishyapayan vaishyapayan ha srota janme jo hai bhakta hai aisa karke so like this tamam duniya ka whole material world jahan jo kuch bhi ho raha hai whatever is going on It is just there in Mahabharat. All the evidence are there in Mahabharat. In Mahabharat, 
Everything is there. What not is there in Mahabharat? Everything is there in Mahabharat. Inside Mahabharat, everything, Gyan, Vigyan, everything is there in Mahabharat. But who will understand that? That is the actual uh, question. How who will actually understand that? Now actually we are going on to the battlefield of Kurukshetra. It already started. In front, uh, in the battle of Kurukshetra, we are going. It is just going to start now. From where? From both the sides, that uh, the army, the army which is there, standing, their battalions are standing on both the sides. It is very much. Uh, they have a very strong battle, battle, battleity, battle. And now actually, battle is going to start. And I have sent to told you the situation already. That from both the sides. That we will be just putting the rat in front of someone, or that according to the days of Krishna, Arjun actually is just standing and just seeing. That's it. From from here, who actually is there? What is the actual strategy of the battlefield? On the battle, on the battlefield, and just by seeing that slowly, steadily, Arjun inside his heart, he is getting restlessness just by seeing all the condition on the battlefield. and uh, slowly pre- before uh, previously i have just told you that uh, that inside arjun there is some kind of contradiction or dilemma is going on that that topmost uh, problem is there inside him so it is one on one time that is actually independence we have to take from this material world and so that we can peacefully live and can rule the world and the other kind of uh, problem is that we have this by election ship or we have uh, our uh, so much mamta and uh, attachment to this our material father and mother and our guru this is very difficult to kill your own uh, uh, mother father so inside the heart of arjun there is one kind of fighting go- going on that what to do and what to not to do the such kind of contradiction has just come inside his mind and from one other side he is actually having this kind of conception that he loves his mother father guru all kind of relatives that he don't want to kill them at all you cannot leave them at all so he is actually getting struck in between this point arjun actually speaking now he is speaking that i can't go to the battle how you uh, will not go arjun speak uh, uh, krishna speaking to arjun that uh, is speaking that uh, when i will be just putting up the weapons onto them then uh, how i can kill guru dronachar and my own bhishma pitama no it's not possible for me and he started speaking like that so it is just to remove that actual uh, dukta this is dukta this is not duk this is temporary happiness this is not permanent happiness we will get this is just one kind of agyan that what arjun showing and in order to remove that now krishna slowly steadily he is actually he is started his pravachan parat par akhileshwar bhagwan shri krishna par in the form of parmatma in front of us and inside the heart of everyone He is the actual guider inside our heart and is guiding us all the time. He is actually act as a driving force and catalyst in order to accelerate our speed of bhajan. So externally, who is actually just uh, going to start the chariot of Arjun, that same Krishna, that is the actual prayer prayer of our Rish, Shuddha Bhakti, pure Bhakti, that is actual Prachodana. there is there is only one word out of that and the actual chariot of our our body is uh, krishna only but because of maya we are actually going on the opposite way that according to your our own own karm phal we are actually going outside so because of that it is going on otherwise it's not at all possible ye jo hai so this actually is there that he is actually cleansing his intelligence and he is actually there on the chariot of arjun whatever kind of uh, horses and the and the horse cart is there inside the heart of krishna only and just as a chariot he is sitting there and at the same in brahm muhurt at the time of brahm muhurt that this is actual vidhan to do the japa of uh, brahm gayatri so that we can get 
manifested in absolute truth so that we can get the shuddha sattvic vikar inside of our heart that's why we are reciting the brahm gait uh, brahm gaitri at the brahm brahm muhurt so krishna this pravachan is there inside that if the prem is not there how it is possible prem definitely will be there so how we can speak like this that he is just speaking so much to his friend and he is just making all kind of efforts to just accept this but after that uh, he is speaking to his friend that who you, who are you actually and how i can die nobody is there to kill me you see you are already killed you see you are, it's already killed you see bishma pitama drone everyone is actually killed automatically i have killed them who so ever is there karna we karna everything is actually destroyed they already killed you see this all only in, i just want to make you instrument in order to give the actual instruction to this material world i am just making you an just a instrument <coughs> you are just one kind of instrument arjun that's it so that your name fame position whatever actually you will just increase if you will not at all think then your actual khatriya dharma by not accepting your uh, kshatriya dharma definitely you just need to uh, face the result of that everyone will speak cleave to you oh he is actually coward number 1 he not at all brave he just ran uh, out of the battlefield so that's why krishna is speaking like that whether he will be just putting up your arti no not like that what he will do you tell me so like this abhi now kurukshetra yudh is going to start now gita amrita saru and gita is full of nectar transcendental nectar like gomata from her from her than actually this milk is getting out of that gita is the same thing also and all the upanishads kavo and what so what does it mean partha we can get the glorification also that of all the upanishad that of all the upanishad and he is thinking that who is actually taking the milk out of the uh, than of milk and who is actually taking kheer only gopal nandan who is the actual vats that that part is the actual uh, vats he is actually sudhir bhakta Arjun is actually what sir? That you can understand now what I have already spoken. When Prithu Maharaj, in front of him, all the demigods and all the praja actually started crying. You have to do something, Maharaj. That I don't have anything to eat to sleep. You just need to rectify the situation so that you can. Uh, uh, maintain the economy what they are speaking you see the thing no 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 wheat nothing is there are where no wheat is there why actually no 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 wheat is there no grain is there are actually the flour is also not coming out of the field he said you just stay prithu maharaj just is picking up his head and he is just uh, in front he is going back behind earth mother earth and she is speaking why you are actually killing me why you are actually not getting giving her that you just need to do that are he speaking she is speaking that maharaj you just forgive me that you are my actual maintainer and you want to kill me so i have to kill you bhagwan speaking so you don't want to you will otherwise you will not give so how i can kill you so how i can on this material world all kind of unstableness is there and that all kind of kamuk people they want to just enjoy me what they want to do for me what i will how i can just protect myself you just think of me okay i will definitely think of you you just you just need to go very quickly and you do one thing that whatever kind of uh, good and pious uh, bad qualities are coming that i will collect with me that the, if you have just accepted rishi munis 
then definitely you have just uh, taken them so that you can take the support of uh, Ved Shastra's Upanishads. So like this, one by one, that you, for each and every, uh, that Prithu, uh, Earth, Mother Earth is just getting in front of Prithu Mara. You just don't kill me, you just make arrangements so that no kind of unstableness and Shudra people, they want to enjoy me sensually. And Asat, how I can stay? On this material world, the topmost uh, uh, that asatya, that kind of falseness is there in this material world. Those who are makkar, all thief, they are cheaters. They just want to enjoy everything. No bhajan is there at all for them. That all those uh, pure Guru Vaishnav, they in our life, they are the actual adhar. They just no, want to kick him. We just need to give them, array. they are speaking, array. just kick them from the mud. We don't require, just give all hooligans in behind him, that's it. He, so that he can get out of this. So who actually that kind of uh, put hooligans for them? You just need to take all the hooligans in your pocket. I don't have any money power, manpower. I have only Baldauji. That it is just like an open field. That whole material world, you know, it is just like open field. This is just one background of Krishna. That what you have, this, that that I am actually came to just stay at your house which is foolish number one he is thinking as is that uh, just uh, like this is speaking if the pure Guru Vaishnava are not at all there then sun and moon will also not stay at all everything will uh, be destroyed completely this actually you just need to think after that there is one confidence on this point that whatever uh, we are we are foolish number one or whatever whatever we are actually uh, uh, handicapped but we have uh, full faith on Bhagwan. why because pra- parashar sutta vyasadev that their uh, vani cannot get false here actually it's already written no that on their tongue that Aprakrit Saraswati is already there that Krishna Mani Saraswati, Chaitanya Mani Saraswati is always there who has actually spoken? I am speaking, no, it's already written there that you are also speaking this you are actually just uh, that Mahamantri is actually I have uh, uh, just uh, learned that foolish it's not like that. You, it, the realization should be there for this shlok. It's not that I have learned it. It's just realization is there. This just by speaking that. They, but no realization is there. They are just speaking externally. That's it. We are actually for bonded soul. And what kind of uh, surrender we can take onto lotus feet of Madhav. So that's why I have taken uh, surrender onto lotus feet of Krishna. That Pangu that those who are actually handicapped that they can just uh, can get uh, over Mount Everest I have already seen that that by the Kripa of Gurudev where I have not gone at the topmost Himalaya cliff I have just gone you cannot go there at all where actually Gomuk and above Gomuk people can people are just going down the Gomuk and they're crushing their body and lot of times I am just going to fall down but there is no trace where you where Shyam Baba will go. But still, <laughs> he will become Ram Baba. So, but Gurudev actually have uh, protected me. Just by that, there is one snow mountain. And there, if my leg will just get slipped, I will just go down into the uh, valley and I will just be killed. I just be just uh, speaking uh, Gurudev's name. And what is the Shakti of Gurudev in my life? I have just realized that. The, it is realization is very much important of Gurudev. Without realization, if you are speaking something, it is not at all good to speak at all. It will be just like a dry lecture. That's why I have just taken surrender onto lotus feet of Krishna. What to do and what not to do, you just tell me. Just at your lotus feet, I am coming. That's it. Okay. So something in realization definitely will come. And Vishwana Chakurasipad, Bhakti Thakur, they will not do Kripa on me. Definitely they will do Kripa. So this now, this pravachar of Mahabharat, in this pravachar of Mahabharat, Mahabharat was written by Vyasdev Ji Maharaj, but the pravachar of Mah- uh, Mahabharat, Dwepan, Krishna Dwepan Rishi and Shrota, who is actually listening, is Janmejay, 
ही इज एक्चुअली जिस हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार एंड दैट कुरुक्षेत्र युद्ध इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द कुरुक्षेत्र बैटल दिस सिचुएशन दैट भगवान हैज जस्ट मेड अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स दैट दिस वॉर शुड नॉट ब्रेक आउट बिटवीन कौरव एंड पांडव whether the actual thing is there inside the heart of krishna because if uh, uh, mahabharat and gita won't come if the war won't uh, start but still externally krishna is actually going to uh, just uh, make sure that war should not uh, go in future even as a messenger also krishna going to duryodhan in the in front of kaurav krishna going and in front of under under the drashtra oh maharaj this kind of war should not uh, be done this is your own family only and your whole family will get destroyed what is the actual use of uh, war he is speaking that my son duryodhan don't want to see all this and just by uh, having so much uh, faith on his uh, you externally you are also blind but inside your heart also your blindness because you have so much snay on your uh, on duryodhan this snay is good that vidurji maharaj actually very nicely that upadeshavali of vidurji maharaj that is very much top most and unique that all those upadesh of uh, vidurji maharaj is uh, in front of the big brother that is speaking that you just uh, think of my point you don't need to you have to obey my point you don't disobey my point that you don't uh, at not at all listen to duryodhan he is actually foolish number 1 he is actually the actual lunch of kali that duryodhan don't need to hear duryodhan at all you don't should mara you don't need to come in the talking of duryodhan at all he is a uh, lunch of kali and uh, blind dhitra just speaking that oh vidur that he is actually mantri prime minister and why actually you are speaking that you are actually speaking right you are actually with that is scientific evidence you are speaking but it's my uh, it's my son what to do that my heart actually is not at all uh, obeying that that definitely my heart will obey the order of my son only duryodhan and i am actually feeling good okay what to do if i am actually going now whatever you want to do you do so vidur ji just uh, left that and the actual all the instructions what vidur ji maharaj giving to we giving to blind the trashtra as very nicely he has actually given uh, instructions why do you come the why do you come it is actually spoken why do you come vidur vidur ji's pravachan that upadeshavali of vidur ji but who actually want to hear so nice uh, upadesh he has given that whole uh, life uh, it is very uh, and at the last time and he is speaking that definitely you are thinking that i am speaking like that my mind actually going towards duryodhan he is disobeying your order and obeying the order of my son so what to do in that okay vidur ji maharaj speaking the karampal what you will do you will uh, get the result of that uh, action what you will do so which is actually very easy to speak it is very difficult to do practically this in this whole material world this is a final point and a fixed point that what you are actually speaking which uh, which looks very easy to speak but practically to do that is very difficult but uh, all those pure guru vaishnav this kind no, this point is not at all applicable for them where they can realize up till that point uh, they are actually going uh, up till that point they will speak this is for a pure guru vaishnav it is not at all applicable for them you cannot speak that prabhupada actually speaking it's very easily but it's very difficult to do practically nowadays people are speaking like that that you just need to uh, think of prabhupada what he is speaking if you don't want to obey prabhupada then okay you go out of pra- gaudiyamat he is speaking like this maharaj that oh nowadays actually gaudiyamat is very much difficult to run that if we will uh, uh, think that uh, of prabhupada we will obey prabhupada then gaudiyamat will won't work <laughs> is foolish number 1 he is actually just uh, destroying god him that's it externally the society or foolish number 1 they are cheater number 1 they are just speaking lecture no prabhupad is just doing lecture bhakti nath thakur is just giving lecture eh? what they want to speak eh? what they want to speak bhakti nath thakur is speaking lecture only he is not at all realizing it eh? prabhupad ji is sant ko swami mara speaking uh, lecture it is just empty uh, empty lecture he hasn't realized that at all Uh, practically he has done that's why he is actually speaking in front of you 
ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन इज जस्ट डूइंग एम टी प्रवचन ड्राई फिलोसफी देर स्पीकिंग वॉट यू आर स्पीक थिंकिंग दैट इज जस्ट लाइक ऑल होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड विल बी लाइक यू ओनली है इट इज वेरी इजी टू स्पीक बट टू डू इट प्रैक्टिकली इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट दिस इज फॉर मटीरियल पर्सन दिस इज एप्लीकेबल बट नॉट फॉर प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दैट शास्त्र नीति इट इज वेरी इजी टू स्पीक शास्त्र नीति बट दैट शास्त्र वेन यू विल बी जस्ट ओबेइंग शास्त्र इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट दैट हेल्थ पॉलिसी इट इज वेरी इजी टू मेक हेल्थ पॉलिसी वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइज अरे वॉट अबाउट हेल्थ यू विल डू करोना हैज जस्ट गॉड मैनिफेस्टेड एंड एवरी वन एक्चुअली जस्ट मेकिंग मनी दैट्स इट फुलिश नंबर वन चीटर नंबर वन ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यू हैव जस्ट स्प्रेड इन ऑल द ऑन द एंड द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू सी दिस इज द एक्चुअल वर्क ऑफ वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द बट इन द भजन जगत दैट चीज शास्त्र इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इफ इट इज देयर देन ओनली योर हेल्थ कैन गेट गुड देन वर्ल्ड हेल्थ बाय वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइज वॉट यू विल डू आवर चीज शास्त्र प्रोपर स्पीकिंग दैट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड द ऑल दोज बॉन्डेड बॉन्डेड जीवास हु एक्चुअली हैव हर्ट सम वन इज हर्ट नो नॉट एट ऑल that our each and every young persons of godiamat that all those material people all the shas the health in order to just uh, get rid of their health condition you have to give gallons of blood for them then only you are of godiamat otherwise not you are speaking you are of godiamat foolish you are from godiamat you just have to show that what is the actual symptom of godiamat you show us you don't have this kind of uh, thing that you can't even give introduction that you are from god what you have done for god you you tell me ha huh? you are speaking that just externally you are speaking you are from god you with full respect you are speaking you are from god you but what you have done for god you tell me every everyone wants to earn that's it earn money health policy that shastra niti is very easy to speak economics arth niti in this uh, to pass in test our memory is good we can pass it very easily health policy everything is easy that i have got 98% in the test oh very good practically you have to show that when you will just get kicked from all the directions then only you can understand on the chest how much actually it is difficult just to just to learn the shastra it's very easy but all those pure guru vaishnav they have just uh, doing acharan and realize that tattva in their life that what you can give them they are not at all taking anything from anyone at all they are not at all anything they are not at all asking any profit from you at all that all those uh, people material people whole uh, material world can get mangal that is the actual target of that sadhu he is not at all asking anything that's it health policy shastra niti arth niti just to get passed in uh, the exam it's very easy but to do practically then you can see how much you can get kick kicked from each and every direction you see that so like this one kind of magical uh, situation is there arjun is speaking lot of pravachan in front of krishna and krishna just uh, started uh, listening and when he will not stop, stop speaking his own siddhant then krishna actually just hearing that's it then he is speaking krishna thinking that when you will stop talking then only i will speak the actual tattva you are just like a very big pandit you are speaking he is thinking of arjun krishna like that krishna at last he is actually just uh, not at all speaking in front of krishna just like foolish number one you are speaking in front of me and you are just dry gyani that's it without realization you are speaking and krishna speaking this is very much uh, difficult to adhere this kind of situation now krishna actually just started speaking to arjun and a lot of desire is there inside me that i want to speak the actual to tattva that's why am bhagwan now actually we have up till now we have heard vasishtha vacho shankar vacho narad vacho narad is speaking shankar is speaking like this rishi vacho all everything we have seen now madhusudan vacha swayam madhusudan bhagwan shri krishna is speaking now why actually speaking madhusudan krishna by speaking krishna only it is good no each and every word when actually it is used here jab arjun ko 
when arjun actually speaking we are speaking in parth still there is very deep siddhant vichar in there when someone there speaking arjun as parth a hey, parth definitely some secret reason is there what is that actual secret reason that that he is actually speaking parth that actual uh, uh, actually just by speaking the son of kunti inside arjun there is another kind of uh, uh, the another kind of uh, system is just getting developed inside arjun that he is speaking uh, the name of my that krishna actually speaking with full of snee he is speaking to me that topmost snee that krishna is using that word parth sometimes he is speaking arjun and sometimes he is speaking parth and he is speaking sometimes sarvasachin sarvasachin mean that his two hands is uh, going uh, on a balanced position both left and right hands are working uh, are working gunakesh means that who will not sleep at all it means that he won't to take any rest if you are actually just listening 2 to 3 hours of pravachan you are feeling very uh, tired it's not in the case of arjun at all arjun is gunakesh so this is your actual vichar that there is no chance that arjun needs rest he won't get exhausted at all so that's why his name is gunakesh he has already just uh, get victory over his uh, sleep that's why his name is gunakesh sarvasachi means how both his hands are in the balanced position it's working and param tapa means parapaksha param tapa means that uh, opposite uh, opposite uh, parapaksha he is actually just making them naked by in order to just establish his own pratap he is actually it is called paratap he is actually making other naked so in each and every name there is some speciality regarding that the name definitely is there but there some hidden secret treasure is there secrecy is there hidden in that idam bakyam idam bakyam means by actually you speaking madhusudan here madhu means that this word means that our material sense organs we are actually doing for our sensual enjoyment just for that satisfaction only we are actually doing everything in this material world so it's all instability is creating when madhu means that who is ultimately who wants to get that ultimate essence of their life so that our heart can get the topmost mangal madhu sudhana means this sudhana means that nisudhana that sudhana means to just kill that sensual enjoyment of our uh, material sense organs that our material sense organ whatever kind of uh, uh, things we are doing that uh, uh, apart from bondage you cannot get anything in life and who is actually removing that from our heart that madhu that who is actually just uh, removing the sensual enjoyment of our uh, um, uh, indriya sense organs he is actually madhu sudhana that's why it is used madhu sudhan so all the kind of material sense organs when you are enjoying that sensually on this some kind of a uh, no kind of greediness will remain if you are actually getting the kripa of madhusudan madhusudan kripa if you can get actually then material uh, things whatever kind of attraction you have or desire you have or lust you have in this material uh, things you will not at all uh, be having at all tomorrow i'll be just uh, giving it because the time doesn't permit i want to speak a lot by the kripa of krishna but what to do and no kind of greediness can remain inside your heart that's why the madhusudan word is used here and the actual word madhusudan means that vyasdev ji maharaj that this madhusudan is actually speaking madhusudan started speaking now why because now up till now arjun arjun that he has gone uh, on his own pathway that definitely he has prem for krishna but there is one kind of saying that it looks like that krishna is now whatever kind of sense organs all kind of instability of our sense organs mind and intelligence in order to remove that krishna has madhusudan in the form of madhusudan krishna is coming that is actually madhusudan in the mahabharat in the adi parv also and the bhishma parv up till bhishma parv bhagwan bhacho bhagwan vacho this only you can find but this pravachan what you can find this is actually from the uh, essence from the asana of bhagwan it is not at all spoken just like in a very playing mood 
and in a very enjoying mood bhagwan it looks like that bhagwan is the own platform of bhagwan that on that platform bhagwan actually on the platform of friendship he is actually speaking to arjun lot of enjoyment he has done with arjun and lot of things he has done but on the platform of bhagwan now he is bhagwan is on the platform of bhagwan actually in mahabharat from adi parva till krishna parva lot of times bhagwan vacho bhagwan vacho this kind you can see but now this bhagwan his own ashan his own cheer that his own dignity that his own position apa from that time in order to manifest that bhagwata and just speaking in front of arjun it looks like that uh, he is speaking to arjun because arjun has done lot of enjoying and he is speaking foul words to krishna in enjoying mood as well and now he is speaking to arjun krishna that oh you forgive me krishna i have done a lot of aparad on your lotus feet by sleeping eating drinking and walking like in those activities so you just please forgive me for that it means that arjun haven't understood that he is actually swayam bhagwan krishna you didn't understand he is swayam bhagwan if still he is actually speaking definitely he is bhagwan definitely he is my friend so in a friendship mood he is actually speaking to krishna like that so now for the first time it looks like that madhusudan vacha madhusudan vacha madhusad madhusudan bhagwan that on his own platform actually standing and he is speaking about that bhagwatta he is actually manifesting his own bhagwatta in front of arjun in the form of pravachan to arjun what is gita by speaking what it does it mean hridaya mama it means it is non different from bhagwan lot of uh, uh, sakha's friends and they are actually started the playing and lot of player th- they sometimes they are becoming in the form of instructor sometimes in the form of rajroot this is actually uh, the platform of guru it uh, we already know that krishna is actually guru definitely you know already you have heard and uh, have you realized that have you realized that krishna is guru swayam a lot of times i have actually spoken but have you realized that in gita pravachan that sometimes arjun is getting some kick and he has become totally upset and whatever kind of foundation of arjun is just getting crushed and destroyed into pieces but still geeta i have already told you that day that arjun is speaking that uh, today my friend is not at all there he has gone from this material world now the actual uh, teachings of the geeta practically is getting realized by arjun but at when i met the battlefield that kind of actual uh, digestion i am getting of that siddhant which are what krishna speaking to me at that battlefield today i have got realized that completely i have digested that now so just by the actual pravachan of krishna that arjun inside their heart is actually totally crushed and destroyed and newly it is set up uh, that kind of tatva siddhant inside his heart and krishna has just realized that when so that so that the topmost preaching is there in front of arjun that so much big preaching uh, mahaprabhu has done in front of sanatan goswami in together with rai ramanand in together with rup goswami pad or whether you can see the case of prakashanand this kind of pravachan what mahaprabhu is speaking that is the topmost preaching that for infinity period it has become have become one kind of treasure for us topmost treasure prabhupad what has he has spoken it is actually very rare treasure we can find in this only that prabhupad can see only that the actual sadhu guru vishnu pravachan if it is not at all there in front but still we can find the actual swarup by their vani swarup vani swarup is the topmost thing that whole geeta the actual uh, uh, hidden secrecy we can find then you can become very much amazed to see i haven't seen that lot of vichar is there inside it so much sampatti just like ocean it is going up and up and up that you are just seeing only flow 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 stream of flows and when you will be go more deeper into the ocean the you can uh, you, the other name of ocean is ratnakar lot of jewels you can find inside the deep ocean that you can find everything inside deep deeper in the ocean that is why it is called ratnakar but uh, from up it is actually only stream of flow of water that's it
and just think of this that that Bhagavad, by doing Bhagavad Javan, Bhagavad Bhajan, everything is getting rectified. And onto the lotus feet of pure Guru Vaishnava, that Sharnapati is the topmost Samadhan, the solution. And for Gita, this is actually the special point. Speciality is there that what I have actually started, this Pravachan now, in this material world, directly by the Kripa of Krishna, it is not, not at all uh, uh, possible to get. So, by actually Bhagavan in Gita, uh, is, Arjun is not at all getting Kripa of Bhagavan It is just a special case You just can't take this way This is a special case He is actually his friend His own eternal person He is actually just uh, putting him in this uh, situation But all our material world Where actually we are getting Kripa It is all Tat Prakash Tat Shakti That is the actual medium Only the, by which we can get the Kripa We have the lot of uh, ways to get Kripa but inside our heart, if false ego is gone, then only everything is gone. Otherwise, you can just go to hell. That's it. What to do in that? What to do? So, the actual vichar is that. Jatha taro ramul nisi chane na tippanti tatskandu hujo pasakha prano puharas jathendriyanam tatevo sarva arhananam achyutejya vancha kalpadurvasi ke pasindu bhavasya Pachitanang Pabu Nebhavishna Bhyo Namon